Hello and welcome to Ruby Savings. This video here is part two of part one. I filmed in the store as I was going through looking at deals and putting things in my basket. I appreciate everyone that takes the time to look at my videos. I'm sure that you're enjoying them as much as I am making them as well as I enjoy looking at other people's videos. Would you please subscribe if you have not? Would you hit the notification buttons to get some more of these great videos that I will be posting? And would you look at some of my other videos and share uh, these videos with, your, with some friends? I encourage everyone to find uh, some way to save, even if you start out with a Google Docs and write down every penny that you use each month and every penny that you, you bring in and make you a pre-made uh, budget so that you can um, keep up with your money a little better and go to discount stores, uh, sales. If you're one of those people that like to go to church food giveaways and other ways that you can put money back into your pocket and that you can save and get the things that you still need. But I'm going to begin my video again. Thank you so much. The first item that I have here is the Nors uh, Turkey Flavored Gravy Mix with other natural flavors. I like Nors products. Their seasoning in the packs like here never disappoint me. It is very good. Sometimes it tastes as good as restaurant style for me. And I guess that's for anyone that purchases them because it's a very good quality uh, source of mixes and gravies and what have you. Um, the next thing I got was this... Um, Cabot cheese. Now I know this was two dollars and nineteen cents because the price said three ninety seven, but this was donated from Trader Joe's. It's cheddar Cabot extra sharp two nineteen is what I paid for for the entire order. It was twenty four dollars and seven cents. That's included my five percent discount. And right here. I, the gentleman was pulling out a box that had lots of vegetables in it, and it had this baby broccolini. So I saw the lady reach, and she was getting some. She says, I like broccolini. So I looked to see, and I enjoy them too. So I got a pack of those. These bell peppers here, 10 bell peppers for $1.99. Very nice, very firm. So what I'm going to do is perhaps take these and cut these in fours or six pieces, freeze them in freezer bags. Next thing I got are these Trader Joe's organic grape tomatoes. Now, Trader Joe's, um, let me see, Amazon, Whole Foods, and some of the oh, fresh markets or some of the places that bring in donations and uh, give them and then they go back and they sell them for a reasonable price. This is a great way of not having to have food and stuff wasted, but still be sold and people can eat with a reasonable, without spending a lot of money. These are mini cucumbers and inspired by sunset. Let me tell you about these here. So my coworker had some yesterday and I thought it was okra. And the way she had them sliced and seasoned it, it looked like cold okra, but it still looked good. And she told me this is what it is. So I'm going to ask her um, how did she prepare this with her seasonings or maybe just she just put salt, pepper, and maybe some Italian dressing and let it sit. But it looked really good. So I want to try that. These right here, <clears throat> excuse me, are two baby watermelons look at these guys they're 99 cents each i had picked up at one earlier that was probably one and a half size of these two but it was lighter i think it was completely seedless and it was 99 cents but when i saw these two i put this back because he brought that out during the time that he brought the broccolini and the cucumbers and this out so I decided to go on and pick these two little ones up. That's enough for me. And these blueberries, they are or were $1.99 for three. So I was pleased to get those. I don't use these onions right here that much. 
So I would probably take and freeze these here, but from time to time, I'll use those maybe in a salad, maybe in some vegetables. But there was a gentleman there, man, he was good getting every one that he could. He had gotten himself a large box and he was just filling it up. And sometimes you get inspired um, when someone else is getting some and you want to grab some too. Well, that's what happened. And I would have picked some of these up, but I was not in such a rush. I was taking my time doing more filming and, and looking at these uh things these eggs were one dollar and 29 cents it was not a whole lot left but these are 129 you know this day and time you're not getting ready to find no eggs for a dollar 29 so uh previously about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago i did pick some up for 129 and so i have those in the fridge i have these here that i'm going to place in the fridge the chips over here I purchased these before. I'm actually going to take these to my night job, leave those in the uh, little break room area so that we can have something to snack on. And, you know, perhaps if you're hungry, hadn't had dinner, there's a little uh, tasty some. So these are uh, the sun chips and there's harvest cheddar, garden salsa, original and French onion. And what I learned from the last time with purchasing them it may or may not be 30 in the box. I think this is why they gave away so many of them. And it don't have as many sun chips. Uh, like it says original, you have six. My box I got the last time had a only two in it. So I'm thinking that this box may not have all 30, as they say. But it do have a uh, uh, quite a good amount in there. And for 3 dollars with the 5% discount, that is not bad. This whole bag over here, 25 of these guys, and it might be one or two different flavored cheeses in here. Um, this size right here, and this is 1.5 ounces, $1, and I think it's, was it $1.99 or $1.29? I think it's $1.99. Or, or I don't know, one ninety nine, one twenty nine. Nevertheless, twenty five of these guys. That's not bad. And I decided I want to pick this up because I like um, the bowl. I don't particularly care for burritos, but hey, I can put whatever I want to put inside of these bowls and make it up my way. And especially since it's a bowl, I I like that better. Now. I don't always eat a lot of cereal, but I found these cereals here. They're $1.99. And recently, I did purchase some a big bag of Razor Bran. If you looked at the video before this one here, I purchased a big bag of Razor Bran, which I've been eating off of it. It was $1.99. So I thought I would get the Blueberry Special K. And in the evenings, I said, thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing this to me. When I'm trying to think about what I'm going to eat, well, here you are. When you get home from work, you can get your nice bowl of this here. And then up here in the front, they're always giving out something free when it comes to bread. And most of the time, they have desserts. But Edmonds, I got two of the raspberry danishes. It's a Danish twist. And I got one of the all-butter cakes. So... This is what I received today. My total was $24.70. My budget for each week for myself to eat is $25. Sometimes I spend $25. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I may see things that I can add to my pantry and I may uh, spend a little bit more. Like last week, I spent maybe not that much at all when it came to um, I might have spent about $10, $12 last week because I remember strawberries and I remember one more item um, that I purchased last week. But this is what I got today at the discount food store. That candy in the middle was something that I already had sitting there. But I thank everyone for just taking the time to look at my videos. YouTubers are very grateful when you take the time to come over to their channel. You feel special and you feel like you're offering people something that they're going to enjoy. And I enjoy uh, this on uh, these videos too on YouTube and they have encouraged me to save. So I hope this offers encouragement to someone to save and to go out and get the deals that they need. And I also encourage you 
to do a Google Doc and just put down all the items that you save that you need to make a budget with, that you need to put down for your groceries, that you might need to pay down for, like for your car, your mortgage, your rent, your light bill, your insurance, anything that you have to pay and put it next to what you have and it'll help you save a little bit better and it also help you be aware of what you are spending but nevertheless i'm not going to talk to you guys to, uh to death but thank you guys you have a beautiful day